Hello everyone and welcome to today's video. Now today I'm going to be now talking about Valid Patch Notes 8.11 and oh boy do we have a lot to talk about. Obviously the new map Abyss which I'll be looking at afterwards. The map has also been changed as well and a bunch of agents have also been buffed or nerfed as well. So let's first off now with the agent updates first start off with ISO. First up his double tap, Ice now grants himself a shield upon finishing a one second animation during which he can't use his gun. Okay, uh, this uh, this plays a shield forming sound at the end of the channel when the shield is activated. They are now, so the charges have now gone down to one for this double tap. The kill reset added to double tap, ISO gets a charge back if he gets two kills. ISO now receives a war penetration tag instead of a heavy standard, a heavy, heavy penetration tag when the shield is broken. This means he's slowed less upon his shield breaking. Additionally, ISO now gets a damage indicator towards the direction of the enemy that broke the shield. Pretty good. So I guess there's a bit of a buff there, including with the nerf with the charges. ISO can now recast double tap while, while it's active to refresh the, the duration of the shield. This is relevant if he gets a refresh charge of his double tap from getting two kills. So I guess if he gets two kills, you can do another another double tap, which is a bit, it's, it's pretty neat. But what apps I'm guessing, if he gets four kills, for example, is going to refresh. So I, I guess it's kind of like a noble, like, I don't know, let's say like maybe like a, like the swift from, or I should say the dash from Jet, maybe. That's maybe why what I'm comparing this to, but... Obviously, I might be wrong. Neon. Now, Neon has been a very hot topic uh, after this patch. So, her fast lane now displays from behind to minimize visual noise in combat space while giving cover for Neon. Fast lane's audio has been updated to travel with the fade out of the wall. The wall duration has, has, has now been nerfed from 6 to 4 seconds, while the dissolve duration has increased from 1 to 2 seconds. Now, high gear is a bit controversial. So the sprint, Neon no longer has her strafe speed reduced while sprinting. This means that now her max speed, her max sprint speed while moving sideways has now increased from 6.75 meters per second to now 9.11 meters per second, and the time until full uh, to full uh, full fuel regen has also decreased from 60 seconds to a massive 20 seconds. That's a 40 second um, difference. Jesus Christ. Uh, the slide. The slide has as uh, the charges has now has now been increased from one to two. The neon now removes all weapon movement error when sliding. This effectively means she's more accurate when sliding. The second slide now costs 150. Equips out of slide fast uh, is now instant, while the slide equip buffer has now been, I guess, nerfed for 0.2 seconds. After sliding, there's a there is a 0.2 second uh, before her gun comes out, so just a bit of delay there. But the main thing about the, about this change for Neon is that shout out as well to Zekin, uh, a, a player from Sentinels. He found out that you can actually slide while midair and is incredibly accurate. So apparently, well, that's a bug. So I think the right devs are going to go into that. But that is something worth mentioning as well of that slide from Neon. And finally, as well, her relay bolt, the charge has now been has has now been decreased from one from two to one. The wind up delay has has in, no, decreased from one point one seconds to now point eight seconds, and the concussed duration has increased from three seconds to now three point five seconds. So, Neon, I expect Neon now to be played quite a lot now with all these movement changes. Raina, there's been a, some slight buffs and nerfs as well. So Devour healing has now been increased from 100 to 50. Full, uh, the full heal time has also has also been reduced from 3 to 2 seconds. Overheal of armor no longer decays after a timer. So I guess you'll have that armor, I guess we'll say, which is pretty interesting. Dismiss top, the top speed has now been increased from 9.1 meters per second to now just 12 meters per second. And, it did, and the, the total duration of Dismiss has been reduced from 2 seconds to now 1.5 seconds. So now... I mean, it's now faster, but you now you have less time to be in that dismiss. And finally, her Empress. Empress no longer has a timer, and it's permanent to Reina is killed all the round ends. Oh boy. Uh, I That's a kind of a, that's a bit of a dumb nerf, I'll be honest. It's, it'll, I just say a stupid buff. It's like where you just press it, like, oh no, my fat finger, but it's still fine because I'm, because there's no timer now. It's a, it's a stupid buff, in my opinion, but 
I mean, that, I mean, you can maybe say it's maybe needed, but I guess that kind of, you know, shows the difference between great reigning players and good reigning players of utilizing the Empress, so. I mean, but to be fair as well, I mean, as a reigner, you kind of, you, you may, I guess, you got, like, your main goal is just to push and increase space, so it, it kind of makes sense, but still, it's a, I don't know why this was needed. Now, maybe the, maybe the character who was, I guess, nerfed the, I, I guess, uh, we would expect a bit more nerfs from race, but it was kind of, like, it wasn't a lot of nerfs I was expecting. I thought it was going to be, like, a full-on, like, she's not going to blast back at all, but apparently she might still have some blast pack ability. So, speaking of, of her blast packs, race's sash was no longer exploded for damage slash knockback upon opponent, uh, upon, uh, upon opponent destruction. No idea what that means, but okay. Raises horizontal velocity when satchelian has been slowed, and the satchel explosion audio has been updated to be to be audible further farther away to ensure enemies can hear the first satchel when a raised double satchels. So it gets a bit of a nerf, but I was really expecting you know, of everyone talk about oh god, raise is dead, raise is dead. I generally thought that we're just not able to just satchel like double satchel onto a site, for example, as race. So I think race will still be utilized in my opinion, but maybe not as much now now that Neon is the new race, I guess we'll say. So uh, but we'll see how that goes for race. And the only non duelist uh, character that was nerfed or chat or buffed that being Clove. So to pick me up, the cost has increased from 100 to 200. The duration has also has decreased from 10 to 8 seconds, and the damage assist time to activate has also decreased from 10 to 6 seconds. While her ult, or I should say their ult, not dead yet, the cost has now been increased from 7 to 8, and the unequipped delay has also increased from 0.7 down to 0.8. There is a bug fix of Clove's ultimate will, will no longer survive the fighting state if they if they get a smoke assist. And uh, we've also added a new voice line for Omen and for Clove when starting a match on Abyss. So that's pretty interesting there for your lore experts. Now, esports features, they've also improved the, the, the hub team page. They basically, they've added um, roster informative to help differentiate between players, substitutes, and coaches. And there's also now little blurbs highlighting their personality and accomplishments for teams in VCT, America, and Pacific. So, it's just only those two regions, so I'm guessing it'll be a later patch. Maybe maybe the next patch, will say, for EMEA and China. So, at least that'll be a, a, an interesting read all uh, for your eSport heads as well. Gameplay system updates, they've also updated now the radio command wheels. With play-to-play -play communication being so vital for the core of, of, of Valorant, we've taken the opportunity to improve our radio command wheels to include more relevant callouts, a higher variety of pings and Asian voice lines, and brand new wheels to extend player communications across more phases of the round, and they've also removed some less useful commands as well. Um, so yeah, so let's just get right into them. So, uh, these changes add, uh, basically add some, uh, uh, basically that they've added, which includes a new strategy wheels uh, during by phase, in, uh, unique strategy wheels for attackers and defenders, new command wheels on the mega map, updated options on existing command wheels, updated voice line on existing command menu, which is only on PC only, and, and streamlined wheels to feature our most important command options, which is pretty cool. And yes, console is is obviously in the game now and the new player tips i guess i kind of talked about it as well with the new player thing that i talked about in my last patch and i know a lot of you are trying to find where that is but i don't really have a like a solid answer for all of you which i am very which i do apologize for i'm really really, really sorry about it but basically i'm pretty sure it is just for new players but it's still, I mean, even I don't really understand it as well, so it's a bit strange one. But basically, new player tips is just for new players, obviously. So, but apparently, so if you are a returning player, it won't, it will not show up. So, you can do that, but you can switch them off as well in the settings as well. Um, if you're just not a fan of it, I get this kind of reminds me of like Overwatch, where every single time when you die, there'll be like a new player tip on like the side or something, which you can obviously turn off. So. That's pretty interesting to say at least, but yes, console is officially now in, well I should say Valorant is now officially on console, Xbox and PlayStation if you want to have a go with that as well. Map updates, obviously Abyss, uh, there'll be a 5v5 spike mode for PC only that provides thrilling thing that basically is just shows Abyss, which obviously we'll have a look at as well. Uh, the map will update, this is the big one. So starting in uh, patch 8.11, Competitive Deathmatch and Premier Queues will contain only on Ascent, Bind, 
Icebox, Lotus, Sunset, and Haven. Patch 9 will then have Abyss be entered to competitive pool, while Patch 9.02, Abyss will be added to the Premier Pool. Breeze and Split have been removed from the from the map pool. Uh, Sage, Episode 3, Act 3 playoffs of Premier will have the Episode Act 3 player uh, uh, map pool with basically with Breeze and Split and not Haven and Abyss. Week 6 of Premier will, so, uh, will still be played on Split. Uh, uh, Starting out as well on Patch 8.11, Unrated, Swift Play, Spike Rush, and Escalation will move to an open map pool. All maps, including Abyss, will be available in these queues. Pretty cool. I mean, I can I, I can definitely understand like, like Swift Play, Spike Rush, Escalation. I thought maybe Unrated can maybe keep maybe the um maybe the, the map pool, but I mean that's fair enough, I'll be honest. And please continue as well to share feedback, blah 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 blah. Thank fuck Breeze was gone. Very happy about that. Split, I feel bad for because I actually quite enjoy playing Split. But my main question is, why in the fuck is a scent still there? Can someone get a scent, please? I'll be the happiest man alive when a scent is out of the map pool. Maybe, maybe it's what Icebox. But if a scent is, is out of the map pool, I'll be the happiest man alive. And I don't have to fall asleep when watching a scent gameplay. Console as well. The map pool, uh, so, so the initial map pool for console will include Abyss, Ascent, Vine, and Haven, which is pretty interesting. A new map as well will be added on every patch, starting with 9.0. There will also be a limited number of mode queues for console beta, please see more updates section. All uh, The all team deathmatch uh, maps will be available for, as well for console uh, beta. Uh, all 11 Valorant spike, uh, spike mode maps will be available in custom game modes. Oathbringe as well, they've also they've also updated as well for console beta, which includes uh, various visual updates to the environment, visual updates to in-world UI panels, which includes uh, like the bot shooting range and the practice target. Practice target has moved to a new location, and the portal and playable mini training modules have been removed from the entire environment. Mode updates now, like I mentioned before, uh, Abyss only for PC only, so just be Abyss in an unrated mode format, so... That's pretty cool, at least there. Well, for console, the console mode queues, console players will have access to a limited number of ma uh, modes for the, for the limited beta launch, which includes unrated, swift play, deathmatch, team deathmatch, and custom games. Competitive mode will go live for console uh, players in patch 9.0. Uh, there will be also a new basic train tutorial. The in-game tutorial has been updated for console launch. All players queuing up on console will also load into a new train experience that goes over the basics of our gameplay, shooting mechanics, agent abilities, match format, and more. New bot training match. Uh, th this is there is an optional bot match for new players who want to warm up with AI controlled bots and teammates. This special match is meant for new players that want to that want to apply what they just learned in the in the basic training uh, in the basic training tutorial. The bot train match is a full swift play match on haven the new practice options as well this includes open range will spawn a player directly in front of the of the bot shooting range replay tutorial ability to replay the new tutorial experience and the, and also they've also removed the old training modules from practice menu all new train content will be coming to pc on a later patch performance up as well for pc we've updated a, a threading behavior to improve performance on two core machines this will result in in better in-game performance for and shorter loading times all platforms as well for for, play, for player behavior updates in patch point 11 we will be implementing an an intermediate change to mitigate and exploit around remakes previously matches that ended in a remake weren't being acted upon approximately by our systems along with players to attempt repeated remakes without seeing any informants. Now, now that they've now that they've increased the, the intubation um, severity of AFK resulting in a remade match, this means players will immediately encounter any any intervention in this scenario, which will increase through repeated occurrences. We're still expecting we're still exploring space, blah blah blah. Feedback will be mostly will be much appreciated. Social system updates. We've updated the friends list to display on console players. This means any of your right friends who are playing on console will appear under other games in your friends list. And we've also changed as well for console the the default behavior of voice chat to prioritize team voice. Now, when you connect to a team voice channel, you will automatically be speaking by uh, to your whole team, not just party members. So they're just forcing you just to speak in team chat basically uh, for console. But this is, I mean, I quite like that console players can't play with PC players because it's a massive disadvantage, obviously. So at least there's a good sign there. 
Premier updates is only for PC. After playoffs on June 23rd, teams that perform well enough will get promotion notifications. If you're an open, if if you're in open elite division, win your playoff bracket and you'll see notification when you return to to the Premier Hub. If you're in, if you're in the contender division, finish in the top 32 teams, you'll see a notification the first time you visit the, the Premier Hub after the standings finalization time. If you're on a team that earned a promotion, your division icon on the Premier Hub and, and the team page will have a promotion indicator for the rest of Sage Episode 3 Act. So, Episode 8 Act 3. If you're in open elite division, you'll be placed at least one division higher at the start of Sage Episode 9 Act 1. And if you're in the in and if you're in the contender division, you'll be placed into the new invite division where you'll compete for an opportunity to make it into Challengers League. Store updates now. I'm. I swear this. I swear we're ending soon. The store ha has had a visual update to increase clarity and quality of the buy phase experience. Ally utility is now visible on team member slots for easier. So, uh, for easier, basically just to make it a bit easier for people to see. Re uh, re the the remaining armor is now is now visualized as a fill in in the UI. Um, added add, 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 add animation to increase clarity around around about around. Uh, being affordable, requesting and weapon purchases. Item states have gone through a visual pass to improve readability. However, if you are in the resolution of uh, 4x3, um, the, let's just say the, uh, the ally util doesn't really look that appetizing, we'll say, according to, I'm pretty sure, to Koala Noob, I'm pretty sure, the M80 player. Possibly, I might be wrong there. I don't think it might, maybe it was Koala Noob, uh, whatever. Bug fixes now. I swear we're getting there. Agents or platforms fix an exploit where players could stand on Keijo's turret when it was wedged into a corner. Players in the situation would, would now have inaccurate gunfights and will lead to if they were jumping. Fix issues where Chloe could play the incorrect animation or slide along the ground during a skin finisher if they were the last player alive and had their ultimate available. Fix an issue where the players inside Chloe's smoke forming location were at a disadvantage compared to a player on the outside of the smoke. Fix an issue where Clove's pick me up uh, could not proc on training a uh, on training range bots. Fix an issue where Clove's not dead yet allows smoke assist to allow them to survive. Gameplay systems fix an issue with Brim's uh, Molly visual effects not appearing unless the player is observing th the direction it's coming from. Fix some issues with combat report player info not populated properly with information on death. Fix bullet traces still being visible after being turned off in settings when player fires a certain angle away from the map. Fix issues where agent abilities are attached towards uh, can be shot through in, in uh, impenetrable surfaces. Fix tooltip not not updating after rebinding while an agent utility uh, ability is equipped. Uh, fix the Arabic language format errors when using Gecko's wingman or picking up a wing uh, or, or picking up a weapon. And fix longer cro crosshair profile names extending the, the delete duplicate profile pop up in settings. And for Premiere as well, for PC only, fix a bug where the green arrow indicator for the choose style selection and map pick and bands didn't show up. Yes, that is all. That is all of the patch notes, but obviously we're not done yet with the new map and also new episode stuff. Let's now have a look now at the new map and possibly as well as, as the new battle pass. All right, so this is what you first see when you obviously update, when you open battle now after the update. So obviously it's mainly about Abyss, which is obviously the new map um, into the game. So let's now have a look. I don't think there's actually a new battle pass and it's not me when I lie. But let's now have a look now at the custom game. So let me get to a custom game and let's go to Abyss. And let's have a look at this beautiful map. Okay, so we're now in the game. And this actually is well what the new UI buy looks like, which actually is pretty cool. We have Let's Buy. Um, let's really, let me just go into cheats. Let me just pause and game. There we go. So we have, let's, I want to see the new, okay, so let's rush now. Let's play slow, stick together, me healing. Let's spread out. Nice try, sorry. Encourage. Hello, thanks, nice try. Okay, so it's actually not too bad, but let's not have a look at the map. So we are now in B, so we're now Defender Side Spawn. I guess we'll go to B first. So B here. This is Link. With some little fishes. Um, yeah, actually, yeah. There, there was actually animated fish. It's actually pretty cool. 
Why does that kind of look like Thrash? Hey, yo. Why is... Why is it just baby Thrash? Oh, there's a bear. I love bear. I'm gonna stab it. Hang on. I stabbed the bear. Uh, little books as well. Some music notes. I can't read music. I'll be honest. Um, oh, what's in here? Like, more plants. This is a little... Another bear. So I guess this, is, this little lab, I guess we'll say, some plants. Just pretty it's neat if you're a plant expert. Nothing's more outside other than this weird portal looking thing. Uh, what else? Okay, so this is. What is this? This is tower. So. I guess as well, let me just do that. So. You know, you can do some shooting there. You can as well walk along this bridge. Uh, I kind of actually want to see what... I'm, I don't think you can plant up here. I'd be very surprised if you can. You can shoot through that as well. Maybe it's like there. Maybe that's where you could shoot it from. Oh, uh, maybe. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. That's not destructible. That's destructible. Dude, that a little... Con the little control panel. Nothing from out here, though. So I don't know where you could really shoot it from. But at the same time, I don't know angles. So moving on. A lot more plants up here as well. If you like plants. Oh, more bear. What's this little guy doing? Oh, I guess he's just taking notes of the, all the little plants. It's interesting. Um, danger. Yes, our favorite. Danger. Let's make this jump so I don't fall. There we go. Yeah, that's a very... Um, that's, a, that's a pretty... Um, yeah, there's, there's, it is a D4. Uh, it's going to be so funny when people fall off this, I just want to say. It's going to be great to watch. More books. I think you shoot through this. You can. You can shoot through that, so that's pretty easy. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you can shoot through that. And now we're going out to... I guess we're going to nest first, and then we'll have a look at B main. It's actually really not too bad of an angle. You could just hold this angle... Can hold maybe this angle if anyone is lurking. Shoot through that maybe. Not too bad actually. There's a little window I just realized. Huh. So I guess you can go up here. Let's see if I can do this. Fuck. Let's see. I I know you can do this. Uh no. Maybe. No. Okay. I can't do it. But you get it. You can probably get up there maybe with like, with like a sage wall maybe. So that's not too bad there. Um, yeah, that's really bad, but I'll be honest for Nest. Uh, this is main. Let's have, like, a lobby before we go to mid. Ooh, plant trees. Another bear. So many bears I've found. My god. Um, the roots aren't really in the ground, so that's a bit of a problem. Um, more plants, more plants, even more plants. Nothing really inside of here. Um, among us. Uh, sorry, that was an old joke. I'm sorry. Alright, keep looking. This is now side spawn, and they actually there's also a little little rope here. Get up. It's just a water bottle and a book. Um, actually, that's actually pretty nice. So we're just in a cave. Hmm. Uh, what's in here? Oh, this is this seems. Oh, it's not okay. It's not there anymore. Maybe I can get up here. Oh, okay. It just doesn't want to cooperate with me apparently. There's books here. I can see books. Moving on. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go... Okay, yeah. Let's go mid now. Mid is going to be the fun part. So this is... So this is mid-bottom. Or maybe bookshelf, maybe we call this. Uh, this is catwalk. With this. With this one. This. You can legit just chill here. You could just chill there with a shotgun. I'm pretty sure um, Masayoshi pretty sure did that in the show match, which is pretty funny. Um, let's go in here. That was a that did not have anything. This is vent. Oh god. And there's another wall here. Which goes into a tower. Oh, interesting. Okay. But let's not go back. Is there anything in vent? I'm guessing yeah, there is. <laughs> oh, so no, that's, 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 that's such a stupid question. Uh, okay, there we go. Um, mid top. Bunch of weapons and oh the axe. Uh, Yoru, uh, not the Yoru, the Only Claw, a bunch of knives actually in the game. I think I actually have that one. Cool. cool. Uh, you can this, you can decipher that if you want. Uh, books, more books. This is mid library. Yeah, fair enough. It is a play library. It has a lot of books there. 
You can shoot through this as well. Pretty cool. Okay, you can shoot through that box. I was wondering if you can. Uh, yeah, there's more books as well. Damn, that's a, that's a, that's a, OSHR, no, OSHA, yeah, that's an OSHA violation with no fucking railings. Moving on now to A, A link. Uh, where do we come from with the, oh, up here. So this is where, so if you, let's say you, you want to come vent, you go up here and you're here, you're in tower. Um... What I've learned is that there's a lot of, like, um, penetrable boxes. Quite a lot of them here, and it kind of worries me. There's also Seeker, which we'll have a look at later. God, this really reminds me of, like, new, uh, it, it's, no, it, what's that CS map, which is, like, in, like, a construction tower? I can't remember what it's called, but it reminds me of that map. Um, bridge. This is going to be a very peculiar spot. Uh, you could definitely have a ray satchel here and just boot people off. You can also shoot through as well if you, if you, you know, want to fall to your death. Um, is there anything in here? Or am I just going to die? No, nothing in there. Oh, these, these are some weird ass looking rooms. Alright, moving on. Alright, here. Uh, yeah, you can, you can shoot through here. You, you can shoot through quite a lot of things here on this, on this side. Like... This one is, like, this is very exposed. You can maybe, maybe plant here, maybe, or maybe here if you're very, very risky. But I think majority of them maybe are going to plant here, maybe. Or maybe, pull, most likely here, but you can still shoot through this. I think maybe from here. You can, shoot, maybe, you can maybe shoot through that, but it's not really going to be that effective. So maybe you can plant here if you clear... Um, security. That's what the cost security out. But yeah, that's really about it. But let's now do this little secret spot. A secret. Oh, Jesus Christ. It's so, it's so like, oh God. That's so dangerous. I love it. And this is side spawn as well. So if you want to, you can go A. You go A, jump this little corner, jump here, and here you are in A. Uh, we haven't actually gone main yet. Let's go there. There's an ult orb right here. You can, you can get, you can obviously jump onto that. At this little angle as well. You can't really, no, oh, no, you can't really look over that. You can maybe shoot through it, but it'll be a bit risky and probably won't lead to anything. Uh, this useless area with this cover, which is still, you can still shoot through. It's not really cover. You can just still shoot through that unless you're a bit thick in the brain. Uh, this little office area with, um, a couple, with a little bunny rabbit, bunny, bunny plushie, with a vandal as well. Nice, and I think that's, I think that's a lot of, a lot more vandals as well. This is the first time that we've actually seen, like, guns in, like, on a map. I don't know, I feel like it is. This looks like maybe, like, the head office, like, I don't know, like, the big boss of this whole operation. Moving on here, uh, nothing really much over in... Attack side spawner, we're here back here. We're back in where we kind of started. Well, not really where we started, but in attack a side spawn. So now it's the time of the of the video where I just go exploring the map. We kind of already explored ends of the map here, but let's not have a look now outside of the map. So if you're still watching, um very much love that. Um hmm. I feel like this penguin is gonna get possessed or something. I don't know. Why is this why is this penguin so big compared to the others? <laughs> Alright. Interesting. Um because I know, I know Riot, they love to put like these like little like plushies that kind of buy like the Easter eggs. Uh, what the frick is that? Little, little flowers, little PNG looking flowers underneath a tree. Uh, nothing really much, I don't think it's here or now. I don't think so. Um, don't think I'm going to get jump scared or anything. There's more buildings here, which I'm not really going to look at because I don't think really want to. You know, I don't really have the time to, but I think but what majority of people are looking at is this little portal here. I don't know if you can actually see it because I'm on low graphics, but there is um there is a, a figure that walks around in the, in in this portal. So I'm guessing because you can't see it because I'm on um, low graphics, but I'll probably put a video of like what the what the figure actually looks like. So that's cool to see. Um, why have I actually haven't... Hmm, there's quite a lot of these buildings as well. 
Uh, I don't think that's. I think that might be really about it. I'll be honest. I mean, this is little teleporter thing, which kind of reminds me of like in Sunset, we'll say. Um, this little nice restaurant or cafe. I don't know what it is. It could be anything, really. <laughs> uh, I think that might be really all. Yeah, and this. What in the hell was that? Oh, it's a dead plant. Maybe it looks like I don't know. And been transported by a conveyor belt and up to the surface. Go. I just want to see how far I can go up. Actually, let's see how far I can go. Because I want to know, can we actually get out of this hole? And does it, and does it, is there actually anything or is it just like an abyss? We'll see. And it's actually a, it's, it is a decent sized map as well, by just what it looks like. Uh, nothing. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's anything. It's just, it's just, it, it is just the abyss. All right, let me just go back down as fast as I can, quote unquote. Um... I, have we actually had a look at this little building? Just like this little glass ceiling? I don't think we have actually. I'm gonna have a look at that. Seeing what's there. If we can slowly make our way down there. It looks like just a bunch of gold rings. It is just a bunch of gold rings. But I don't know what that is. Where is that actually? This little ring here with more books and he's Oh, okay. It just it just says fuck you. Um Is this like a choir? What is this? It looks like maybe a choir. Penguin is conducting maybe the bears. I don't know. That's weird. Oh, it was actually in mid. Oh, okay. That's interesting. And I think that might be really about it. I bet, like, because I'm on, like, low graphics, you probably, like, like read this, these scrolls and maybe it'll like the words of these books, maybe. But um, because I like performance more than, more than, like, just quality, then I can't really see that. But, um... Yeah, that is really about it of Abyss. Um, my take, pretty good map. Expect maybe quite a lot of Omen, maybe as well some Rays, Jet. Uh, Breach will be pretty good here. Uh, who else? Maybe Sage, maybe we'll say. Maybe some Sage or Deadlock. Apparently Deadlock could be really funny to use here. So maybe expect maybe maybe those characters to be used. But we'll just see. I actually haven't seen this one, actually. It looks like a uh, maybe a little Jacuzzi, we'll say. With, I don't know, it's a bunch of security cameras. Oh, some movement around here. Oh, actually, that's not really movement, it's just pixels. I can probably cap the fucking pixels. Um, and this, I am not seeing this area. I shouldn't know how, I just haven't gone into them. Um, sculpting a little flower looks like, and some other stuff. So, I mean, okay, not too bad. Not too bad, I'll be honest, um, for this map visually. Uh, but if we're actually playing the game, there's a lot of, like, fun mechanics that players can really use, especially as well with the zip lines and possibly as well going for like crazy plays like the Omen falling off the map and then teleporting back onto the map play that Mixbell did on the show match. So maybe expect that maybe um, in your games, but I think a lot of people are also going to be watching like these areas of um, danger and secret to see of how many people actually falls off um, in their games. Oh no, a very, very good map. Now, I'm not too sure what the size is for the for the update. I did I, I tried to have a look, but it just wouldn't say what the size of the, of the update is. So for all of you wondering of what of how or like the size of this update is, I do apologize, but I have no idea. I even tried searching up, I have nothing as well. Like I have no idea how to find the size of all these updates. So I do apologize for that. Uh, but now like you know guys to like comment and subscribe It will really help me especially on this channel for more passionate videos and also for this week in VCT as well for this channel So that's really better for me. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Catch you guys next time in the next one. Goodbye <laughs>